In normal daily conversations, we often interchange the terms computer program and software. However, there is a huge difference between these two terms in technical language. And that is what we're going to learn in this video. Let's first talk about computer programs. A computer program, or simply a program, is described as a collection of instructions or ordered operations for a computer to perform a specific function or perform a particular task and achieve a specific result. Programs may be processed with or without user interaction. Batch processing is the execution of programs on a computer environment without manual intervention. Once these programs are initiated, they are completed without human contact. It completes instructions in non-stop sequential order. The input data are collected and are processed in batches by the program. It can be left running for a significant amount of time without any interaction. It avoids idling the computer resources with manual intervention. On the other hand, interactive processing is the execution of programs that prompts the user for input as data or commands. The person needs to provide the computer with instructions while it is doing the processing. For example, the computer sends a screen message to the user, where do you want this file to be stored? Then the user interacts with the computer to complete the processing. Interactive processing is usually used because of the following reasons for the user to become familiar with the computing environment, for the programmer to test their code before attempting a long production run, and for the tasks that require frequent user interaction and those which are graphically intensive. When we talk about program, it consists of a set of instructions which are coded in a programming language like C, C++, PHP, Java, etc. A program usually can't be classified into various categories. A program cannot be a software. It is usually developed by a person who is a beginner and has no prior experience. Its functionality is dependent on programming language translators, which are compiler, interpreter, and assembler. A program takes less time to make. Its development approach is unprocedural, unorganized, and unplanned. Software Development Life Cycle, or SDLC methodology, is not used to make programs. The size of a program ranges from kilobytes to megabytes. Before we head to the discussion of software, let's talk about brief history related to programs. In 1840s, mathematician Ada Lovelace commonly called the first computer programmer, first described how a routine could be written for machine-based problem solving. This was the starting point for every development in the computing field. Lovelace published an algorithm to calculate the sequence of Bernoulli numbers, intended to be carried out by Charles Babbage's analytical engine. In 1948, Tom Kilburn created the first computer program that was held in the first electronic stored program computer. The program calculated the highest factor of integer 2 raised to 18, or 262,144, and was successfully executed on June 21, 1948. The computer that held the program was called the SSEM, or Small Scale Experimental Machine, also known as the Manchester Baby. Before this innovation, computer programmers had to manually program the machines by moving wires to connect vacuum tubes. This event widely celebrated as the birth of software. At this point, let's focus on software. Software is defined as a collection of programs and data files that are designed to perform some operations. As mentioned, aside from the programs, the software may also have a collection of data files. They are files containing information, but not code. They are only meant to be read or viewed and not executed. In a software compatible for Windows operating system, you would normally find at least a single executable file. An executable file contains the entry point or the part in the code where the operating system is supposed to begin the execution of the application. Unlike a data file, an executable file cannot be read by humans because it's compiled. Compiling allows the computer to run and understand the program without the need of the programming software used to create it.
Therefore, executable files have been processed and packaged and are ready to run on a computer. Additionally, DLL can also be found in a software. A DLL is a library that contains code and data. They do not have entry point and cannot be executed on their own. They commonly contain functions and procedures that can be called or used by other programs. For example, in Windows operating systems, the COM DLG32 DLL contains common dialog boxes used by Windows applications, such as the standard open file dialog box. It helps promote code reuse and efficient memory usage so the programs load faster, run faster, and take less disk space on the computer. We can say that it consists of bundles of programs and data files. It can be categorized into application software and system software. Software can be a program. It is usually developed by software developers who have expert knowledge, experience, and training. Software functionality is dependent on the operating system. It takes relatively more time to make. Software development approach is systematic organized and very planned. SDLC is used to develop every software. The size of a software ranges from megabytes to gigabytes. In a nutshell, a program is a series of instructions that tells a computer how to carry out processing tasks. Data files contain information but not code. These programs and data files form the software that sets up a computer to perform some operations. When a computer runs software, it performs the instructions to carry out the task. For example, this is the code of a program. It contains a function for addition operation. It has a set of instructions like what are the required inputs, addition statement, and return statement. This program is included in a calculator. A calculator is a software where there exists a set of programs like for operations for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Once the software is developed, it is put in a medium like CD or DVD with a license, and it will be marketed. Software can also be downloaded from the web. On the other hand, the various programs that make up software are subject to copyright, which is the right of the programmers who wrote the program codes. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about the differences between program and software. If you find this helpful, please like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time.